As long as we keep the vital force within us, life continues to exist. And I'm not being dramatic about this. And I'm even not talking about the immortality of our physical existence. When I say the continuity of life, yeah, the essence, yeah, the very seed, yeah, the potential we all have while living this mortal existence. Life is beautiful amidst the, the challenges it brings about. Yeah. And then when we realize and attain this potential, everyone's capable. But of course, depending on the various circumstances we live in this life, this journey. Yeah. We keep growing. Yeah. We acknowledge that the life we experience now will continue to the next. And while we're enjoying this mortal existence, and we keep growing, yeah, the beauty and the learnings and the realizations while tackling this journey, then we can continue our projects, we can continue achieving our aspirations and past aspirations. When there's nothing else to do, what else to do, so to speak? Yeah, once you've reached the final curtain call, you know, what's the next performance? Yes, there is a continuity of our life. Yeah? So we can enjoy this experience up to the very last breath. Okay. I'm not being dramatic. All right. And I will relate this to Samadhi. Okay. Book says, you know, one of um, the manifestations of Samadhi is that the Kundalini energy exits the body from various sets points, yeah, exit points, uh, the main one being the Shahashwara. It's true, and I've experienced that many times. It could also exit the mouth, the forehead, even the chest, even the hips. Yeah, there are many exit points. But the profound experience of Samadhi is when you're able to control the Kundalini already, but you don't allow her to leave the body. So this is now the stage where you know, she surrenders to your grace. And then she's not anymore wondering. She's not anymore restless. Although you know, she rises, she doesn't exit the body. Right. And then last night, and a few of the Samadhi's experience I have in you know, the past few years are like that. During the initial stages, the first few years of my Samadhi experience, she will just exit and I'll experience and witness her roam around and connect with other energetic forces surrounding yeah, me. But now I'm able to control her. When I achieve the Samadhi, I am fully awake. I am breathing. I am in control. And last night is no different. Yeah, I was doing my, actually last night, uh, early morning. Yeah. I was doing my summit, uh, Nadi Shodana, alternate nostril breathing. Yeah. And, uh, well, Kevalu Kumbaka happened to me. Yeah. By the way, this is the first time again in almost a year, grace dawned upon me. The, the last one before this was, I could fully remember the 28th of, uh, 29th of April. 2023 was my birthday. And this morning, it happened again. Kevala yeah. Kumbaraka happens, well, happened while I was doing my Nadi Shodana. My brain, my thinking brain, yeah. thought that I was doing the Nadi Shodana, but in reality, my finger is just resting here. And it's as if my brain is doing the, was doing the Nadi Shodana while externally I'm just holding this hand and I'm breathing without breathing. Kevala Kumbhaka. You're breathing spontaneously, the, the suspension of the breath. All right. And then the sound appeared. I know when the sound appears, the Nada appears, I know it's going to happen. It's the precursor to Samadhi for me. And then, the, of course, it's the experience. So while my brain is doing the Nadi Shodana, 
mentally. And while I was like this, physically, I know I could separate you know, the meaning of the various awareness, the consciousness. I was like this, and then my brain feels and thinks and what's doing the Nadi Shodanam. My brain is producing, was producing the sound. You know, the and I just listened to the sound and it happened. Yeah, she rose from her hiding place, but instead of her exiting, I was able to confine her inside. And since I was breathing normally, yeah, I didn't actually struggle. Yeah, I was observing her presence there. Yeah, she was like playing from right to left, left to right, and spinning around without me yeah, releasing her out of the crown or any other exit points. And while it's happening, she was talking. Yeah, she was giving various instructions, some uh, I can't even remember at all. Yeah, but distinctively, I was um, hearing a few numbers. I can't just recall numbers, patterns, yeah, yeah random words, yeah, really nothing specific. Yeah. Like I'm hearing like many chatter inside the brain while she's flowing around. And yes, I was breathing, yeah, through the internal body, yeah. And probably she was just so tired spinning around my head without me allowing her to exit. Yeah. She descended back to the body. It's like the experience peaked. Yeah. And then it remained there peaking. Yeah. And then when she well, finally surrendered, no, oh, yeah, this, this body will not allow me to to explore what's outside, and she retreated back to the body. And I just resurfaced as if nothing happened. So that is when we're able to confine the prana within. And then every time I attain the samadhi, yeah, my, my body really changes. I could literally, visually, Witness, yeah, the change in my skin, the change in my eyes, the change in my texture, the change in my general appearance. Physically, yes, it's good. Yeah, you, I am more radiant. I am more energized. Yeah, I am lighter. Yeah, I am more inspired, of course. Yeah, as expected. Yeah, so that's the essence. Yeah. When you know that within you, the life force, which is endless and boundless, and then you are able to confine that life force within and experience it during meditation, yeah. it makes you find more yeah, purpose and goal. As a teacher, yeah, I'm able to share this experience with you. Whereas if in the past, I would just talk about how the samadhi exit, or how the kundalini exits, and this and that and that. But there is a deeper realm. Yeah. The body is the temple. The body is the heaven, so to speak. Yeah. And then when we're able to experience everlasting, the eternity within us, then we recognize the sanctity of this physical compartment the brain particularly. Yeah, so what is there to do after the last performance? Yes, there is. Yeah. As long as you keep the vital force within you. Yeah. So if you reach that point that oh there's nothing else to do because I'm finished, if you're retired already, if you finish a project and then <laughs> You're left with like looking blankly what's next. Yeah. yeah. Breathe. Yeah. Feel. Yeah. Close your eyes. 
and then breathe mindfully. Yeah. Because the breath contains it. The breath contains it. Yeah. There's so much to share with you about uh, the experience. Yeah. What happened before the samadhi this morning? What did I do before <laughs> the samadhi? Well, there's so much to share, but I would just like to, um, well, impart to you yeah, the essence of the whole experience. And this is related to Vajroli, actually, in the Vajroli Mudra. Yeah. Well, hopefully I'll be able to share with you, but yeah, some of them might entail some sensitive uh, techniques or um, yeah. steps. But yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here to, to, to unload yeah, my experiences because that's how I learn. If I keep it to myself, yeah, my brain gets so filled, there's no space left for me to absorb and to accept the grace. Good. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste. Bye.